Hello everyone. Today I would like to discuss the topic is how to deploy Hyper-V server in Azure VM. Normally Hyper-V installed on bare metal server with our on-prem data center. So the single hardware we can install multiple virtual machines. The same can be deployed with our Azure VM. Using nested Hyper-V on Azure VM technology, we can achieve this. In this uh, architect diagram, you can see uh, level 0, that is a Hyper-V uh, on Azure uh, Infra Data Center and level 2, uh, which is we going to use uh, nested virtualization technology. Okay, steps to create the Hyper-V server in Azure VM. First, we need to create a Azure VM with nested Hyper-V supported VM size. So D series, E series, F series, M series, D series support for this Hyper-V, nested Hyper-V. Then we have to install Hyper-V role in Azure VM, then launch the Hyper-V console, then install VMs with our Hyper-V console. So I have mentioned here steps. So first you have to install the Hyper-V role. Then for network, we need to create an internal switch. Then we have to configure the interfaces. Then we can configure uh, uh, firewall rules. Okay, uh, let's have a quick demo of it. So let me open my Azure. Uh, VM which is running on uh, Azure portal. Okay, so I have already created the Azure VM with uh, required size. So here I'm using a D2 series. It's two core and eight GB RAM. So I'm going to access the server over the remote. So I'm taking the server over the remote. Then I'm going to install the Hyper-V road, then reboot, then I will install the uh, guest OS. Here I'm using a powerful command to install the Hyper-V role. Okay. Okay, uh, after the road installed, my machine is uh, rebooting because uh, so I mentioned after the road installed, need to restart. So the machine is in re restart state. It's restarting. So let's go and see the mission status. Uh, Okay, it's getting restarting. Okay, you can see. So my machine restarting. Once the machine is ready, machine is back online. We'll take remote. Okay, the machine is uh, back to online now. So let me take remote again. My Azure server. So now I will get the Hyper-V role over here because I installed the Hyper-V role. Okay, Hyper-V role is uh, available now. So let me take uh,
okay first i am going to create a uh, virtual switch internal virtual switch okay so new virtual switch virtual switch name it's a friendly name then switch type the switch type is internal okay the switch is the switch then it's virtual switch is created let me check the adapter name get adapter to get the index number okay so this is the switch we created okay the index number is 14 hyper v which is ethernet index number is 14 okay then uh, then we have to set the ip address for the ethernet okay internal which which is this we need to set the ip address okay the interface index number is 4, 14 i am going to set ip ranges 192.168.217 series okay then we have to create a network and say network address for this create a virtual network name so this can be created graphically as well but i am using the commands for the first installation then finally i am allowing the uh, firewall So I'm allowing the firewall zone here. Okay, so the network setup is ready right now. So as usual, you're going to install your server. Okay, just select the hyper manager, then click new, select the server. Let me put 2016 server. Windows 2016, okay. So let me select the switches in front switch, okay, which we created right now. Then I'm going to put a 30 GB or 27 GB that is enough. So this is the default path I'm leaving here, okay. So OS, I am going to select uh, ISO image. Let me connect the server and the power it on. So this is my uh, Hyper-V Azure VM. So inside the uh, Hyper-V Azure VM, I am inside the guest OS, okay. So I am selecting the uh, keyboard and installing. So here you have to select the Windows Server 2016 and desktop the flavor also it lost so which edition we want so i'm going to select the os a uh, standard edition so it's 2016 server okay this step x this this type minutes the ga mode the installation in progress so once the install is completed i'll resume the video because it will take some time right the installation is in progress so it will be ready in another five or ten minutes i hope so 
okay it's almost finished okay the machine is back to online so here you can see uh, this is my uh, hyper v manager which is installed in azure server inside hyper v manager i have created the windows virtual machine so as i mentioned the public uh, as i mentioned the private ap private api i configured okay so this is 192.168.217 so which we created from the uh, Azure Hyper-V server. So let me take my Azure. So this is my uh, Hyper-V guest OS. Okay. So what I did to make network connection. So I have configured the Intel virtual network switch range. Okay. Here you can see. So 192.168.217 series, which is on my Azure server. So this is my Azure server. So the which inside network I created a 192.162.17.1. This is my Hyper-V switch. Uh, let me take to you. Okay, this is my Hyper-V switch, right? So we created initially while server. Uh, we created this using PowerShell commands. Okay. So this internal switch. So it's communicating internal network. The IP range we created using commands. I hope you may remember right. So these are the commands. So uh, get entrance switch to switch. Then we have to uh, get a network adapter. Then we have to identify the index number. Then we have to using index number. We have to configure the uh, IP address for this entrance switch. Then we have to set network address. Then you have to allow a virtual machine through Hyper-V host using internal firewall okay so my machine is running on hyper-v server okay now we will check the ip address of the server as, as we checked already the ip address of the server right we let me confirm so this is my uh, windows virtual switching server 192.168.217.10 okay I have configured as a uh, st static IP address. So if you want uh, the uh, if you want the DHCP, you have to configure DHCP with your uh, Hyper-V server. Then uh, you can connect using uh, DHCP. Okay. So I have configured as a um, uh, static IP. Let me try to print this uh, server here from uh, uh, my Hyper-V server. Okay. So the hyper this is a host machine hypervisor server installed hyper road installed server okay this is my hyper v host server let me try to ping my guest vm okay this is my guest vm right 191.2.10 let me try to ping Okay, I can able to reach the server from my hypervisor, my host machine. Or let, let me try the sharing. Start. This is one of the command. To get uh, share access. Okay. Okay, let me try to run. This is my uh, host guest machine. Oh, okay, this is uh, server name is administrator, right? Uh, I can able to access my uh, guest VM from my host media, host server. Okay, let me create some files here. File 
somebody from hyper to post okay let me check okay you can see let me copy okay then copy here let me again try from okay got it so you can uh, install multiple servers on uh, guest vm sorry on host vm okay so oh, this will reduce your uh, reduce to get multiple servers instead of azure you can use uh, azure vm as a um, uh, hyper v host then you can build and create multiple servers over here uh, so i hope uh, this video is useful for you please comment if you want to more things more concept thank you thank you